Hello grade 7 students. I'm teacher Charmaine. Welcome to our class. Arts Education 7. Arts. Quarter 1. Module 1. Arts. And Crafts of Luzon. Attire. Fabrics and Tapestries. Crafts and Accessories and Body Ornamentation. Textile. Produces attire, fabrics, and tapestries. From Ilocos region. Inabel. Inabel is a handwoven fabric made by Ilocanos. Which is more popularly known as Abel Ilaco. The root word Abel means to weave. Inabel of Ilocanos literally means woven. Inabel shows different patterns inspired by nature. Examples of attire. In Cordillera administrative region. Cane. Cane is the basic dress for women of Cordillera region. It is a type of wraparound skirt, tipi and tagalog, characterized by horizontal stripes that uses bright colors especially fiery red. In Mountain Province an example of textile is Kadongyan. Kadongyan is a burial cloth for the rich people of Mountain Province. It is a cordilleran term which mean rich. In earlier days, only the grandmothers were allowed to weave burial clothes. With the changing of times, any weaver is already allowed to make one for the dead. Another example of attire in Mountain Province are Wains and Lufid. Wains and Lufid are Mountain Province Igorot costume. Men wear wains, a long strip of hand-woven loincloth, or bahag. While women wear lufid, a wraparound skirt, or tepee. These garments reflect each Igorot's personality, culture and traditions. Additional example of textile in Cordillera province is Tigian's designs. Tigian's designs are made by Abra people and feature a simple linear design with multiple interpretations. Some of their textiles are reserved for special occasions such as childbirth, wedding and harvesting. In Cagayan Valley, Bakwat is the example of textile. Bakwat is a cloth that serves as belt by the mother after giving birth. The center part of this cloth is commonly decorated with white beads accents embellished in patterns which represent rivers and mountains. Fabric in Batangas Embroidery Piña and Juicy Piña and Juicy are the traditional fabrics in Batangas. Just like Barang, it is an embroidered formal menswear in the Philippines and it's characterized by smooth stitches, fine, composed of delicate shapes, embossed and durable. This apparel is used in wedding and formal affairs. Next topic are crafts. Some examples of crafts are Bernay. Bernay known as, Tapayan or Banga, is an earthenware jar crafted by a skillful potter with the use of potter's wheel and kiln. Bernay is commonly used for storage of water, grains, salt and other condiments. Bori mat. Bori mat is the smoothly woven mat from Bolinao that is made of dried leaves of palm, dyed and woven. Lapa. Lapa is a bowl-shaped coiled basket of Kalinga that is made from finely split rattan and nido vine. Linglingo or Denumog. Linglingo or Denumog is a common ancient artifact symbolizing fertility, prosperity and love from the Ifugao, Bontoc and other Cordillera regions of the northern Philippines. Bakul Headdress Bakul Headdress is the headgear for Ibadan women of Batanas that is used to protect them from the heat of the sun and rains, while men wore in vest. Sinkaban Sinkaban of Bulacan is the art of creating an entrance arch and other decorative materials mainly from bamboo. These are additional arts and craft from lowlands of Luzon. Pastilla's wrapper from Bulacan. Keeping in loose Bencasan. And Giant Lantern in Famfenga. Lastly, Accessories and Body Ornamentation. Kalinka's Tattooing. Kalinka's Tattooing is a form of art that is considered as a clothing and decoration of the Kalingas. It is usually covering the chest and arm. Batuk. Batuk is a general term for tattoos, it uses materials like charcoal, thorn of a citrus tree and bamboo used to tap it. Apawangad. Apawangad she is often described as the last and oldest mom Babatuk of a larger Kalinga ethnic group. And that's it for module 1. You're doing great students. And now, let's have our activity time. 
For this activity learning task 2 page 6. Identify the similarities and differences of Textile of Ilocos from the textile of Cordillera provinces according to their patterns, design, colors, and materials used. Let us proceed to our next lesson. Arts. Quadr 1. Module 2. The Majestic Architecture and Sculpture of Luzon. In the previous module, you learned about the different attires, fabrics, tapestries, crafts, accessories, and body ornamentations of highlands and lowlands of Luzon. I believe you are now familiar with the characteristics of the designs and motifs of craftsmanship used in the said place. It's time for the review of the past lesson. Are you ready? Let's have some fun. For your activity written works module 2 learning task 3 page 1. Imagine that you visited places of Luzon and you want to buy Luzon's arts and crafts from a local souvenir shop. If your budget can only buy limited items, choose your preferred attire, fabric, crafts, and body ornamentation from Luzon. Using the table, write the specific items, descriptions, and their places of origin. And now let us determine the characteristics of architectures, sculptures and everyday object in the said place. Kalye Crisologo Kalye Crisologo is a narrow and cobbled stone 15th century Spanish street in Bigon, Ilocos Sur and is considered to be one of the heritage sites in the Philippines. It is lined with antique houses, and shops leading to the town's hundred-year-old churches, Tumawini Church. Tumawini Church is a Baroque church that was built in 1873 and can be found in municipality of Tumawini, Isabella. The structure was built entirely of red bricks and done in the style of late Baroque or early Rococo. It has a four-story bell tower that looks like a wedding cake. It is a Roman Catholic parish church of San Matias Apostol and is considered the most artistic brick structure in the country. San Andres Apostol Parish Church The San Andres Apostol Parish Church, popularly known as Masinlog Church, is a 19th-century Baroque church located at Brigi, South Poblacion, Masinlog, Zambales. The church structure is a standout among Spanish-era churches in the central Luzon region for having been built with coral stone instead of adobe stone. It has saints' niches, vertical windows, carved niche of the town's patron saint, and has carving of geometric shapes and medallions on the pediment. Its belfry is designed like a circular template with lantern and cross. Parish of the Three Kings Parish of the Three Kings in Gapon City is a Roman Catholic church built in 1800s and is one of the biggest and oldest churches in Nueva Ecija. It has huge side doorways, with two standing images of their patron saints on both sides and a mural of the Holy Trinity on the ceiling with a style of Byzantine architecture. The church is made of bricks, adobe and lime. St. Dominic de Guzman Parish Church the St. Dominic de Guzman Parish Church also known as Abaque Church, is a 17th-century Baroque church located at Burji, Lawn, Abaque, Bataan, Philippines. It was built in 1587 and was administered in 1588 by the Dominicans. It is a Renaissance architecture with five-layer bell tower defined by decorative balusters and ornamented with semicircular arched windows. It has single or coupled Doric columns, two St. Niches in the main portal and one in the center. For your performance activity. Learning task 4 page 4. Complete the chart below based on the pictures of the churches from Isabella, Nueva Ecija, Bataan, and Zambales. Reminder. Students. Don't forget to write your name, section, subject and name of your subject teacher in your answer sheet. Thank you and happy learning.